This is a Year 11 Geography lesson at the Petersfield School taught by Emma West. The students represent a range of abilities with target GCSE grades between A star and C. The theme of the lesson is the way in which tourism develops. The observer is Louise Soden. Without talking then, Year 11, please sit down. Excellent, well done. Right, OK, we're going to start off today um, by getting you to work in um, pairs. And what I'm going to ask you to do in a moment is get yourself into pairs. And I'm going to ask you to label yourselves or name yourselves number one and number two. Number one is going to sit with their back to the board. And number two is going to sit in front of them. Okay, number one needs to have a whiteboard and a pen with them. So on your desk you'll see a whiteboard and pen. Can you move yourself into pairs, decide who you're going to be with, label yourselves one and two, number one is get a whiteboard. Okay, you'll need to move your chairs. That's it. Move your chairs so you're sitting with your back to the board, number one, please. In a moment, I'm going to reveal an image. And number two is going to help number one draw that image on the whiteboard without seeing it. Okay? So, thinking about our exam skills, what skill is number two going to be using? Charlie. Interpreting skills. Could be. You could be interpreting. Think about this, though, Charlie. You need to help number one draw it. What are you going to be doing? Telling them uh, like the key different bits about it. And okay, so you're going to be telling them the different bits you can see yep. in an exam paper. And linking them together. What would what would this command word be? Callum, do you want to help him out? Uh, they need to be describing and explaining. Describing is what you're doing, isn't it? And they may be explaining, but describing. Okay, that is the command word. So we're practicing describing really well. Number one is going to draw it. Okay, are you ready? I want to hear some fabulous descriptions of the picture you're about to see. Does anyone have any questions? Okay, here comes the image. No peeking, number ones. Got my eyes on you, Jane. Are you ready? There it is. Okay, it's like, okay. On the side, on the side, from the side. Just a little bit on the side. Okay, no, no hand movements. Just a little bit on the side. Describing. So, so uh, a little bit down, a little bit down. Yeah, about there, yeah, yeah. And it goes out. Yes. And then it comes up. <laughs> oh, comes up. Yeah, keep going. It's quite, yeah, that, at that angle, maybe getting a little steep about half. This is what you've drawn. Anyone seen that before? Hands up if you've seen that before. Nobody. No one's ever seen that before. Okay. Any ideas what it is? No? So this is brand new to you. You've never seen it before. You don't know anything about this at all. Okay. Well, here's our challenge then, guys. By the end of this lesson, you're going to be writing about that in a way that either hits or exceeds your target grade. So from knowing absolutely nothing about it, you're going to be writing at your target grade or beyond. So that's our challenge for today. And I'm 100% confident you're going to be able to do it. OK, so this is called, oh, I nearly revealed it. This is called the Butler model. But what I want you to do now is try and see if you can work out what it might be about. No one knows at the moment. You've just told me. No one put their hand up. No one had a clue. So what I want you to do now is have a look at a few clues and see if I can move your thinking on a little bit in a very quick, short time by looking at the bag that's underneath your desk. There's a big laundry bag underneath your desk. Can someone get it out? Put it on your table. Okay, spend a, spend a minute getting the stuff out. Have a look. What's in there? Okay, what have you got in here? Into have a look. Okay. Okay, keep going. Put the bag on the floor when you Okay, when you've got everything else, put the bag on the floor when everything's out, please. It's about the amount of people who are actually in this scenario. Because they begin to raise problems in the wing. Yeah. Okay, bags on the floor then. You've had a look at what's inside your bags. 
I've impressed you, Ben, haven't I, with that? Yeah. Well, I do try. Okay, now, you've got some random items in your bags on your desk. Now, just by looking at those, how has your thinking moved on? Look at that again. On your whiteboards, can you write down what you think this might be about? One word, two words. What do you think it might be about? And hold it up so I can see. So I can see how you're thinking from no hands up, we haven't got a clue, has now moved on. On your whiteboard, as quickly as you can. What might it be about? Any ideas? Okay, we've got Ed's up. Ed's, Ed boards up, come on. Who's going to be second? Oh, Jenny. Very good. Mm, interesting. Okay. I would have expected nothing less from you. Okay. Hmm, interesting. What are you writing down on yours, Phil? Similar. Okay. Right. If you have a look around at what's on other people's boards, we've got a lot of tourism going on there. Some, are, some people are mentioning specific places. Some people are mentioning specific areas. So you've talked about the seafront and oceans. But most of you have written down this word tourism. Okay. And I think, you know, some of the clues sort of gave it away a bit, didn't it? A bit of, uh, a bit of tourism. So, perhaps this is about tourism. Okay, that's what we're going to find out in this lesson. This is the Butler model. The learning objectives of today is to know what the Butler model is about and to understand what it tells us. So you've already shown me, you haven't even seen the Butler model before, you know nothing about it. By the end of this lesson, you're going to be writing about it at your target grade. So if we can write down the title and the learning objectives. The Butler Challenge is about to begin. Here we go. Each of you is a different stage of the Butler model. Each of you is a different place on that graph. First thing I want you to do is I'm going to give you a writing frame and I want you to work out which stage are you. Look at your stuff, look at the resources you've got there, okay? Some of them, some of the resources have got extra bits hanging on them. So make sure you really explore what's going on there. What stage of the model are you? And then what is a place like that is in this stage? What is it like? Describe it. Tell me what it's like. Those skills we used right at the beginning. And then, can you tell me why? How did it get to this stage? How did it get to be like this? Can you tell me why? Right, any questions? Okay, Joe, while I'm getting the sheets, can you tell everyone what we're doing? We're going to be given a writing frame by Miss West. Absolutely, <laughs> we, just coming. <laughs> we are going to be um, finding out what stage of a butler model we are. Yes. And we're How gonna, are you going to do that? With uh, clues we have Absolutely. received in our magical package. Absolutely. <laughs> And we are going to write it down in the writing frame. Brilliant. You're going to tell me what stage you're at and then why. Don't forget the why bit. Yeah. I'm not stopping your work. You can take the blame. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Crazy photographs. <laughs> I think you should have edited it to put Wally there. Yeah. Where's Wally? Like Fred. Yeah, Miss West was in the photo somewhere. Okay, as I was giving those out, I can hear some really good conversation. So keep going, people. Talk about what you've got in front of you. This? Yeah, it's got a few things on there. Look, look. Feels like something in it as well. Possibly. Do you want to open it? I want to. I think it's just stuffing, fairness. Oh, well, it's worth having a look. I'm always curious. Like, I think it's developing. I don't know. I think because it's coming up. No, it's like okay, you've got four right. minutes. It's no, it's four minutes it's left. No, I don't think there's anything in the screen. Okay. It's sort of more commercial for all types of families, like even families that maybe aren't so well off, they're okay. being able to afford them. Brilliant. So, if you look at your model, on that basis, where do you think... Because it's okay. sort of going from like a small scale to large scale due to reviews yeah. and like different Beginning to develop the culture. Yeah. 
and the email says that it's planning on 38 new hotels. Yeah. And the business is investing as well, so it just becomes more of like a affluent area. Yeah, Absolutely. To develop the area from Brilliant. There. So what would you be looking for now in a holiday? Quiet environment. Quite, so much more that first picture that you yeah. saw. So you can see how this begins to work. Yeah. Can't you? Good. Thank you. So it seems in Venadon it's got a lot of English like shops and food, but I'd rather go somewhere where it's different from where I know. So it would feel like not going anywhere. Yeah. I think it's so popular as well because it's um, it seems to be quite cheap. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, the sale and really cheap. that's an interesting one, isn't it? Yeah. So that makes the point you just did. Yeah. What's that about? Uh, that could be littering. Yeah. yeah. That's that as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. So, from not knowing even what the Butler model is, you're already getting quite a lot of understanding of what can go wrong. It's, it's happened very fast, hasn't it? Uh, come, carry on. I will just listen to you. Let's see what you're going to put there. And while you're doing that, can I look at your book? Yeah, is that all right? Thank you. I'm not stopping you. Okay. Thank you. So, I'm going to give you 30 seconds to make sure that you've filled in that last column. That last that row. Now, what we're going to do next is we're all going to go on a summer holiday. And I did have a bit of Cliff Richard music there. Um, but decided um, that it might do your head in because it did mine in a bit. It was sung by the chipmunks, so we, I moved away from that. Google it though, it's worth a look. Anyway, we're all going to go on a summer holiday, which means you're going to move around the room to another place, another resort, somewhere different, and you're going to explore what you think, which stage you think this new place is at, okay? Now you're only going to have four minutes, and within that four minutes you need to fill in your writing frame as well. So use the time. There's a timer on the board. Keep your eye on it. You've only got four minutes. That's all you need. So we're going to move around in a clockwise direction to a new resort, and you're going to start thinking again about the Butler model. Okay? Any questions? Right. As soon as you've filled in that um, row of your table, please can you move around in a clockwise direction? Thank you, Laddie. You've got some work. Assess the A star in there. Yeah. And you tell me your target grade is a C. Tell yeah. me about how that works. Well, um, I've moved up from C as I like describe more and explain more. Yeah. Yeah. As I answer like exam questions, so it puts me up higher grade. Yeah. So you know what to do. Yeah. So C is target, but you're currently working at an A star. Yeah. It's just so, like learn case studies and things and you get higher marks for it. So do you think you're going to be able to do that? Yeah. So what do you think is the grade you're going to get? Maybe an A. Maybe an A. Yeah. 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 Go for it. <laughs> well done. Which one is yours, do you think? Oh, right. Right. Because, um, like, they use their natural sources mm -hmm. rather than, um, like, building loads of hotels. Right. So it, it's that sort of first picture we saw. Yeah, more sustainable. So where's your evidence on everything that you've got? Well, there's, like, somewhere, so, yeah, less than 17,000 tourists. Yeah. Which means that they're not very well known. Yeah, they're not overrun. No. It's just, like, best kept secret. So, yeah, that's a good word, I think. It's a good bit of evidence. Where have you put Benadon? Stagnation stage. Right, OK, why have you put it there, James? Well, there's a lot of things about litter. Um, unemployment somewhere okay. over there. Why is there unemployment? Um, because they, they've probably either hit a point where it's become... Embarrassed to, vi to visit. Yeah, people don't want to visit People are embarrassed anymore. to visit, yeah. So okay. It won a poll, didn't it? Yeah. The most embarrassing people you would place to visit. Okay, so why is, why? Why is that linked? You've linked that to unemployment. Why have so you done if that? people aren't visiting, then the, all the businesses and things that have grown up during the success stage 
they're not going to get the business anymore and they have to close down and move off. So Brilliant. there's yeah. loads of people who have no jobs anymore. Can I come and join you? I know we've done Weymouth, so I'm interested in this now. Five star hotel and apartment business. Is it? Why? Because it, um, it says here. <laughs> hotel, landscape gardens, five minutes from traditional village. And there's so they, it hasn't lost its character like right. um, and Benidorm. And it does something so obviously they're doing well. If there's brochures going to be about in the UK, that you pick up in travel agents. Yeah, read the postcard. Um, James, you've got some postcards. Yeah. Dear Sue, having a fab time in Tenerife. There are so many facilities for tourists, so much to do. It seems like everyone in Los Cristianos is involved in tourism in some way. Even the fishing boats do tours. We are having a great holiday. Tenerife is a real success. Take care, Linda. Do you enjoy geography? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. very enthusiastic. Yeah. Yeah. Is it always like this? Yeah. Yes, it is. So it's always. the washing bags up for us. They're, they're no, often no, they're not for you. No, they're they're just, <laughs> Very but much. We, we don't usually use I, I can't say, yeah, bags, washing bags. We do. Are, it's not yeah. particularly. But, but, but it's, it, the activities, like, they always get us to move around. It's always yeah, different. Getting up and to a job talking to different people. Um, definitely. We grumble and about moving about. We grumble. Yeah. Pardon? <laughs> 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 I can't remember a time we've ever used a book. Yeah, like, true. We, we haven't actually used a textbook. Unless it's a cover. It's all interactive. It's always a proper lesson. That's an, that's an interesting word you've used. It's oh, always yeah. a proper lesson. Yeah. So <laughs> tell me how you how you define a proper lesson. Well, it's planned well. A plan yeah. is planned and yeah. we're actually doing We're actually something taught it. And, yeah. Yeah. And and it it's textbook. not like we're reading just out of textbook and have to learn it ourselves like we would in maybe science or something. Yes. Um, we're guided through it, basically. And, I guess. and what is Benidorm? All these, all these bits of evidence that you're interrogating here, do you find that way of working? It helps you actually to, to learn and to work things out. Yeah, it does put it into context, doesn't it? Really. Mm. Yeah. It, it's and I like easy enough to say that it's stuff about tourism and Tenerife, but it's an abstract context unless we've got things mm. to look at. And I like the uh, I like the use of case studies yeah. because when you use case studies, um, you can use case studies to apply them to other areas, mm. and you can take the concepts that are in case studies, and you you know that they um, they can also be applied to other contexts and are quite general. And so you you're talking about how you can uh, transfer your learning. Yeah, yeah. and trans it allows you to, to we can put it sound in the exam yeah. as well. Yeah, the exa we you examples. use a specific example, yeah. example which sounds good um, to the examiner. But like in everyday situations, like you work, because we did something about a beach, like you go to the beach and you go, oh, I know that from geography. Yeah. That sounds yeah. like yeah. the best source of learning to me. And yep. now I've stopped hey. you oh filling in the old chart. Oh, I'm getting into it then. Weymouth. Do you know where Weymouth is? Dorset. Yeah, so it's on the south coast of Dorset, and you've put it um, in the last box, the only one you have free, rejuvenation. Mm. Do what to Dorset? What is the rebranding? What are they trying to encourage? Um, more people to visit the area. And the reasons? The reasons for it changing? Um, well, There's one big reason. The Olympics. That's one big reason, isn't it? Right, good. Keep going. Right, Benidorm. It is? Really well done. Good drawing on your area. knowledge there, Jenny. Brilliant. Yeah. It is retirement migration. Uh, You've put it in having problems. Want to go what to problems is it having then? So it's basically just it's just people want to go there. It's an appealing place. Right. Losing the tourist industry. Yeah. What else? And companies are consistently What's the investing more and more money. And it, yeah, Unemployment effect, and probably media as well. Mm. Media and film. Yeah. Media yeah. film would be film would invest a lot. Growth and development. So bars, restaurants are closing down because there's less people. Yeah. Excellent, well so done. Yeah. Why aren't they like getting to the same anymore? Yeah, I mean, you, there's quite a lot of films where you film in these kind of locations Why? that are quite serene. Yeah. yeah. So it's good locations to film. What about lack of culture? You just said lack of culture. Yeah. Let's go back then to our learning objectives. To know what the model is and then to understand what the model tells us. Okay, so what is the model, Ben? What is the model? The Butler model. It's a model of what? Um, tour, it's tourism and um, how it, the place um, gets better and goes up and then when it gets to the top it starts to decline and maybe regenerate or rejuvenate and get Absolutely. Better. So it's how a tourism resort changes over time. And there's one really easy way that I can test whether you've understood 
what this model is about. And I'm going to ask you to all get a whiteboard now. So if you're not on a table with a whiteboard, go back to your original table and get one. Get a whiteboard and a pen. Or in pairs, get a whiteboard and a pen. Set it over there now, actually. Really simple technique for finding out who's got it and who hasn't. Get ready. Get your pens ready. Are you ready, Ben? I'm always ready. Good. Are you ready, Callum? I'm ready. Good. Here we go, then. I'm going to show you this graph again. The x-axis has a label on time, so it shows us over time how terrorism develops. But I've missed the axes off the y. I've missed the labels off the y-axis. What should it say? Write it down on your whiteboard. What should it say? Have a think. What should it say? <laughs> and there are a couple it could say, actually, that I'll take. I'll be willing. Lewis has written tourist development. What do you mean by that? Okay, so maybe income. Income from? Uh, tourism as a whole. Um, from jobs in bars and restaurants. Okay. So what needs to go up to increase the income? Um, the amount of people that visit the area. Absolutely. And lots of you have written number of tourists. Lots of you have written income from tourists, which is the same thing, because it's about the number of tourists. And I can see from around the room that you are beginning to understand. You are understanding visitors, popularity, well done. What have we got over here? Yeah, OK. That's what the whole graph shows. But what do you think that label is on the side? What is it? What is it that's going up here? OK, we've talked about income. What is it that's going up? I'm going to get you another, I'm going to give you another 30 seconds to think and maybe look at your answer and think, no, I'm going to stick with it or I'm going to change it. Up to you. Something has to go up, something has to increase for a country to be able to afford to develop, doesn't it? What is it that goes up? What did you see that changed as you went around the room that enabled the country to grow? Have a look at your answer. Some of you got it right. Stick with it if you're confident. Don't change it. That was confident. Charlie was confident. I'm not changing it. I've made my mind up. I'm staying. OK? Ten seconds. I'm going to ask you to hold it up. When it's declined, ten seconds. OK, time's up. Hold your boards up. Let me see. Brilliant. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Well done. OK, I want you to, you've both written development. OK, I want you to just tell me what you mean by that. Um, kind of the, well, obviously, as a country gets more and more tourists, they get more and more money, so it becomes, they have more money to invest right. in Stop things. Right, stop there. What was at the very beginning of that process? You just said it. What was at the very beginning? As a country gets... More tourism. OK, you didn't. You said tourists. Tourists. More tourists leads to what you wrote on your board, which is development. Mm -hmm. So you get it, OK? That's what it's about. You're absolutely right. Most of you wrote tourists on your board. James and Joe wrote development, but when I unpicked that, what they meant was the process created by the tourists, which is what you said at the beginning, James. OK? Absolutely right. It is the number of tourists. So, very last thing that I'm going to get you to do is obviously apply that to what you've got to do in the exam. And we're going to do some work on the exam technique very, very quickly. So, I've got two possible exam questions here. This is the one that you'd probably get on the higher paper. Here's one on the foundation paper. Now, you know which paper you sit, okay? Higher paper is your A star to C, and the foundation candidates um, are C grades, and, uh, C to D, and E grades. So, you know which paper you're going to do. Have a look at this question. It says, higher. Over time, a tourist resort can change. We've seen that, haven't we? You've been moving around seeing it. Using an example, what does that mean, Izzy? Using an example means what, Izzy? A case study. A case study, a real place. Brilliant, well done. So using an example, there's your command word. Explain the problems a resort may encounter and why. Okay? So, straight away we look at this question. What place are we going to use? <laughs> You've been around the room. Which place has problems? Benador. 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 Yep, so you're going to use Benador as your example of a place with problems. You're going to explain the problems. 
And then you're going to tell me why it has these problems. Okay. So, foundation paper. Describe the problem that a tourist resort may experience. Exactly the same. What are the problems? And then explain how one of these problems happened. Why it happened. Okay, so that's the question. So, success criteria then, guys. How do we write at an A or an A star level? Let's look at the higher question. What, how do we write like an A star geographer? How do we show people that we're an A star geographer? What needs to be in our writing? Okay, let's have a think about this. Let's have um, Jenny. Geographical vocabulary. Geographical vocabulary. What does she mean by that? Nikki, you're the king of geographical vocabulary. Yes, geographical. Come on, share it with us. Geographical terminology, uh, specific words that we'd use to describe a geographical situation. For example, development, things like that. Absolutely. The words that show people, check me out, I'm a brilliant geographer. Okay, that's what the words are. Nikki does it all the time. He is the king of geographical vocabulary. He puts these words in that just makes people go, whoa. He's a great geographer, and that's what you need to put in there. Well done. So geographical words, what else does it need to have? We want to get this A star. What else does it need to have? Let's have um, Charlie. Uh, it needs connectives linking the points and the evidence as well. So. Brilliant. So we need connectives. Right, Ed, tell me, what, what does he mean, need a connective? You need to be able to explain uh, what, your, what your point is, so uh, using terms like therefore. Um, for example. My favourite one, come on, what's my favourite Which means that. Which means that, I and, love that uh, one. That forces, Get that, one you, in there. that forces you to explain what you actually mean and uh, uh, put in a reason for it, which is what gets you the top marks. Absolutely, that's what gets you an A star, explaining your ideas, putting in a reason, or someone said earlier, linking your ideas together. How would we split the marks, a five mark question, because it says explain the problems and then explain why. How would you, uh, Philip, how would you think they would split the marks in an exam? What would they want to see? I'm not sure. Have a think, you've got five marks, how would, how would you answer it? What would you do? Um, how many problems and how many reasons would you give? I'd use uh, three different problems uh, that uh, a place like Benidorm would face and then explain each one, ex how it's affecting the place and why, why it may have come about and, and things like that. Perfect. That's exactly what an examiner would want you to do. Brilliant. Well done. So now you've just got to do it. <laughs> OK? So I'm going to give you five minutes. That's all you have in an exam. Five minutes to get your books, your paper, whatever you're writing on today and to have a go at answering one of those questions. Okay, five minutes, that's all you've got. Let me find the three, bro. The, the three problems that you talked about. That, that was good, that was really helpful. Yeah, um, as it develops over time, eventually you get to the point where they have so many tourists mm. that, um, that it overcrowds and it becomes undesirable for other people to go there. Yeah. So then uh, the lack of tourists um, so, yeah, so overcrowding. Yeah. yeah. And then um, the business failure as they yeah. uh, close down and things like that. Those are three good ones, aren't they? Overcrowding, lack of, it's not popular, yeah. and therefore economic decline. Yeah, absolutely. Sorry, I won't get it down. <laughs> Otherwise, you won't get it done. Okay. okay. <coughs> Now, remember, at the beginning of the lesson, I said, I showed you the butler model. No one had ever seen it before. No one knew what it was. And I said to you, at the end of the lesson, you will be writing about this, hitting your target grades and even exceeding them. OK? Now, I'm keeping my fingers crossed we've done that. There's only one way to find out, and that is to do some peer marking so we know what grade we've got. So that's what we're going to do. Now, you are going to swap your papers with somebody else. I have put, on most of the tables, pink and green pencils. What's the pink pencil for, Beth? Underlining geographical terminology. Underlining geographical terminology, because without geographical words, you're not writing like a geographer, it's not an A star. What's the green pencil for, Izzy? Connectives. 
Underlining connectives, why? Because it proves you've developed your point and explained your answer. Absolutely, and if there's not green and pink all through their writing, they're not writing it at the correct level. So using the green and the pink pencils, can you very quickly swap work and underline geographical terminology and connectives? Go for it. Swap paper, go for it. Green, oh, you've got green and pink, why don't you? There you go. There's some more greens. Okay, once you've done your vocabulary and your connectives then, what are we looking for to give them five marks? What are we looking for? How many develop points? Three. At least three. If they've given you three problems with a connective, 